Hi there. Today we will be running through the diagnostic system of the Nissan Z. This particular car is a 2004 model and I'll be using the Launch X431 scanner. I've preloaded the Nissan software to save time and we will be using a CAN connector. Um, it's not, not easy to spot here but under the bonnet uh, release latch there is the white 16 pin connector so you select that uh, over here we have the different systems and within these systems there are other systems we'll focus on the power, power train The Nissans are quite sophisticated when using these scanners. There's quite a lot you can do compared to some other makes. We'll select engine. And over here we've got the trouble codes, data display and work support. And function test. First we'll read the codes. No codes detected which is quite typical. Uh, Japanese cars don't really pick up codes so easily. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the work support. In the work support you've got self-learning controls and fuel pressure release. So over here you can Crank the engine, release the fuel pressure if you're working on the fuel system. Um, idle air, volume learning and target RPMs are here. Um, that's usually if you replace the throttle body. So even if I, I can go through it, but it's not going to do anything. Over here, function test. Uh... You've got here mixture ratio test, for example. Start the engine. Sweet. To run this test, the engine has to be above 80 degrees. So we won't persist with that at the moment. active test. Over here you've got the what it is it'll be the outputs and, it, and you can select them all. It's quite typical on the launch to do this but you've got to remember the launch machine will revert back to the factory sort of style so when on a Nissan this is pretty much what the Nissan mechanics will see. You've got a power balance test here, um, which shuts cylinders down and stuff, cooling fan um, without monitor. Cooling fan's now on low because I've got the aircon on. I'll turn the aircon off. Uh, sorry, it's allowing me to select to turn on the low speed fan. You can actually hear them. They've just gone to high. Very noisy fans. Fuel injection. When you go back to that original call 
menu here you've got main system select over here you can go in and you've got the ABS, the airbags ABS is always fun <clears throat> might not have liked the engine was running at the time and you do get that with the launch system you can't always just switch the key on and off you'll have to go back to the home screen reset the machine so let's read the trouble codes on the ABS there's none there uh, active test so we can uh, put the ABS motor on um, main signals ABS motor on there it goes off so Nissan's given us a full full range of uh, active tests so the body control module here you'll be able to power up windows wipers see the status of for example switches in the cars you know so I'm struggling now as the key position might have needed to have remained in the accessories position during that test. Oh no, it's gone in. Okay, so you've got door locks, key, key, en the multi remote entry, headlamps, trunk, reverse warnings, wipers. So let's select wipers, active test, and I can. put the wipers on there they go and what it does it <clears throat> allows you to you know eliminate eliminate parts of the system and see the status of things when switches are turned on and off make it very quick to diagnose a problem and most of these things you would not have a problem with on an Nissan um, flashes data monitor all signals this is the big one because over here, you can see if the stalk is working correctly, the hazard switch is on, the key's on. That gets into making diagnos diagnosis very easy. Very easy on, on electricals. Combination switches, headlamps, and, you know, the trunk release. Pretty much standard stuff. Very helpful stuff. Airbag system. Uh, usually wouldn't, you know, un unless there's a repair or accident, you wouldn't really need to reset anything here, but a lot of cars need re recalibration. <clears throat> Read the DTCs. None. So this car's clean. Uh, past DTCs. I could see if anything did deploy in the past, and it hasn't. <clears throat> Function test. The automatic transmission this car has not got. Whoops. Uh, there it is there, and the anti-theft anti system. When you press this start key, basically it's going to call. And I'm pretty sure it's going to call up all the systems and just do a, a test throughout the vehicle of course it doesn't have all these systems but it know it'll find out what it's got and test the systems it's got all mode four wheel drive but that would be nice and with Nissan I mean these menus cover right up to the skyline GTR and right down to a Pulsar. They all use a similar system and they just reprogram that system to suit the vehicle. EPS, that is uh, electric power steering. This car hasn't got it.
You can see it's going through. Oh, the high cast. The high cast was the four wheel steering from memory. And that's the great thing about this system is that it's all integrated into one system. Um, picked out what what we want here. Um, I wonder what this is. <clears throat> Print the information on this page. Initializing. Active test. Oops. Okay, so this is a electrical electrical systems at both ends of the car, the wipers, the defoggers, the lamps, the horn. Um, read the codes, no codes. So this car really is a reliable and uh, trouble-free car. Nissan Z and the launch X431 running through a, a car with no problems. Uh, all pretty standard stuff. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Bye.